Okay, now we are going to solve problem 3.89 from Sadiku book and here we have NPN transistor here. Uh, the basis is here, the collector is here, and the emitter is here. And because this is NPN transistor, IB is going inside, but here IE is going to the outside and IC is going to the transistor. So here we have IC and this is IE and remember that IC is actually beta times IB and beta is given beta is 100 so IC is actually 100 times IB okay let's now go to the analysis and we start from this loop here I name this loop B for base so add loop B we have this voltage source voltage source uh, and the current is flowing from negative to positive so we will have negative sign and the value is 2.25 plus and this is another voltage source or battery and the current is flowing from negative to positive and so again we will have negative sign and the value is 0 0.7 volt plus this is 100 kilo ohm so 100 times ib because it's kilo ohm the unit of ib will be milliampere and plus the voltage across base and emitter so here we will have plus and minus and the voltage is given it is VBE is 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 and the current is flowing from positive to negative so it is positive and the value is 0 0.7 and this will equal to 0 because all components are done here and Let's do some math here, minus 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 will cancel each other. And so 100 IB is equal to 2.25. Okay, now let's save this as equation number one and we will move on to the second loop here. Okay, for the second loop, because the current is flowing to the transistor here I will name this loop I will make this loop uh, counterclockwise so we will have the same sign here as IC and IE and I will name this as loop CE for collector and emitter so let's do add loop CE let's start from this resistor here one kilo ohm one kilo ohm and here we will have that multiplied by ICE and then we move on to this battery and the current is flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 15 and then we move across transistor we move across the transistor so we have we need the voltage between collector and emitter so it is VCE here and the value is unknown so plus VCE and that will equal to zero now we need to know the value of ICE here. ICE is this loop. And if we take a look at this, that will equal to this current here and this current here. And that will track to IC. So ICE is equal to IC. So here we will have IC minus 15 plus VCE. VCE is unknown and that will equal to zero and we will have this one 
this IC is equal to 100 IB. 100 IB minus 15 plus PCE is equal to 0. Now we will have this 100 IB is equal to this one actually. So 100 IB is equal to 2.25 minus 15 plus VCE is equal to 0. And so VCE is equal to 15 minus 2.25. So this will equal to... 12.75 volt VCE. Okay, VCE, we got VCE, and this is our first answer to the this question here. And now we need to find what is IB. Okay, now let's erase this and let's save what we know. So now we will take a look at this equation here I will have IC is IC minus 15 plus VCE is equal to 0 and so IC is actually 15 minus VCE which is IC is 15 minus 12.75 and then that means that IC is equal to 2.25 milliampere. Now IB, what is IB? IB is from here, I can know that IB is actually IC divided by 100. So I will have I see is this value 2.25 divided by 100 milliampere so this will equal to 2.25 min over 100 times 1000 microampere so this will cancel to 10 and so we will have IB is equal to 22.5 microampere. And here is our final answer for this question. So the question the answer is I the answer of for this question is IB is 22.5 microampere and VCE is 12.75 volt. Okay, let me know if you find any mistakes in my calculation. Thank you for watching.